So I've come along to the Plank stand here at Isbarn and with Jim Adlington, uh, founder of Planks. At the moment, you seem to be really growing. Well, where, where has it come from? Where has the brand come from and why did you start it in the first place? So my heritage is obviously UK skier. Grew up on a Kids Grove Dry Slope in Stoke-on-Trent. Yeah. So back when I was nine years old and then uh, just got hooked on skiing. When I was 18, I got a job, worked out in a ski resort in Baldessere and um, got a job washing dishes so I could ski every day and then did five years hard work getting good at skiing and getting good at washing dishes. <laughs> and, uh, Better at skiing, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then, yeah, managed to have a, a meeting with Salomon. They were staying in my hotel and I kind of badgered them to give me... Uh, they had a pair of 1080s on, on test, oh, yeah. and it was the first time I'd yeah, ever yeah. seen a, a twin tip ski. And I, I was remember just them. like, yeah. they, they gave me a set of skis, and then I became a pro skier for, for 10 years. And then it's like, there isn't really like a brand that's just for just for skiers, really. Like, the, a lot of the skiers are wearing snowball brands. Yeah. I saw a real niche in the market, and I, I knew that like Fat Face and White Stuff were doing really well as a UK brand. But there was no one really doing um, like a freestyle kind of yeah. kind of thing for for a younger market. Yeah, it started in Belfast there with a really small collection. Okay. And uh, we were just selling in bars and selling to yeah. friends, and then yeah. it just kind of grew from there, really. Back in like 2003, 2004, when we right. were selling out the van. And you were making the stuff kind of yourself, and then yeah, well, I was. Uh, I had a friend who had a, a place in Bristol. Right, and uh, I was like going to screen print the the t-shirts and literally going through all these boxes to try and get like what stock he had like one of or you know if he had one colour in like fluoro green we'd do like a black print and we'd do like a one of one kind of special right. collection and I would hide, hand write all the labels. And, uh, Less than 10 years uh, since you officially started the company of Planks. Less than 10 years after that day. Yeah. You know, you're you're opening retail stores in ski resorts in the French Alps in Val d'Isère. Yeah. You've already had a you've had a store in Val d'Isère for a few years now. You've got Meribel, you've got Teen, and you've got Morzine, and and, yeah. and Leplanc, and you've also signed James Woods, Woody, yeah, as your pro athlete. Yeah, from, from the beginning. And then, so uh, you've known him from the beginning, but obviously know. now he's a superstar, yeah. world superstar athlete. Yeah, you signed that, so you know. Wow, that's a pretty that's a pretty big jump, isn't it? In less than ten years to go yeah, from it's, it's selling out your boot. And we're we're holding our own considering we're still very very small. We're still independently financed. We're not like we haven't got a major VC behind us. It's still hard work, you know. Like yeah. I work seven days a week, 24 hours a day, and uh, well, you got to ski to test the stuff, yeah, right? Still got I to mean, ski, yeah. still get it's work. Out. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. For me, it's important. Like I still need to, to ski like as much as I, as, as I can, really, because yeah. it brings my passion into the brand. Uh, I get to ski like you know three, four times a week for a few hours, and it, it makes me really excited about coming back to work. And it's nice to have that passion, isn't it? Yeah, it's been a really exciting journey. The interesting thing is, as well, for me, is that I, I don't just see it on on you know on the kids kind of thing. I, no. I see it crossing. A lot of age, yeah, you know, a lot of age well, ranges, and yeah, you're exactly right. Like in the beginning, we kind of had a target audience that we kind of aimed to, and then as that audience has got older, they've kind of stayed with the brand. And uh, yeah. our age group is now, whereas in the beginning it was maybe 18 to 28, now it's like 18 to 35 and over 35. Right. So, do you see the British market as like the most important consumer market for you still? Is that, or are you growing beyond that? Well, yeah, I think the UK market's always going to be a big focus, um, and that market then filters into into Europe. You know, people coming from the UK to use um, to go to ski resorts in, in, in France. Yeah, and uh, I think Europe as a whole is is going to be a massive focus for, okay. for us. Okay, it's been fantastic to uh, speak no to you, Jim. Thank you thanks very much. much. Thank you. Great, thanks.